guys welcome to my channel my name is Denise I hope that you're all being safe and doing well and following the rules um, and the restrictions that have been set by your various countries and governments to keep you safe in this time of uncertainty um, and when dealing with the virus that is going around um, I'm just here to share with you guys some quick tips um, that you and your family can use to keep safe at this time. I'm going to be doing two quick videos today and in the first one I'm just going to be sharing with you some scriptures that help me to relax and to just um, be confident and have faith in God and not to worry. These scriptures keep me calm and I'm just going to be sharing them with you, hoping that they help you and your family as well. And in part two of this video, I'm going to also be sharing with you guys some tips that you can use to help your family prepare um, to deal with this pandemic that we are experiencing and also to give you a quick update on our situation here in Uganda and what my family is doing to keep safe. All right, so I'll talk to you soon. Guys, my first scripture um, that helps to keep me calm, I'm not going to be reading all of it because it's quite long, um, but it's Psalms 91 and I will maybe share a link with you that you can maybe use to listen to it or to, to read it. Um, but. It's a very powerful, powerful scripture that really reinforce um, the power of God to protect us uh, and to keep us safe in times like these. You know, it's the promise of God to his children that he will protect us from pestilence, from diseases, from um, all the terrible things that might happen in the world. We know that God is our protection, He's our shield, and we know that there is power in His name and that He can keep us safe. So it really gives confidence um, to trust in Him to take us through difficult times. Alright, so my next favorite scripture, and I love the, the um, I think the Brooklyn Tabernacle did a song for this one, is Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes to the hills, from whence cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord. Well, I'm not a singer, but yeah, you can look for that song. I love it and I love this scripture because it is such a comfort and um, it just keeps me calm, you know, it just allows me to trust God to know that my help comes from Him and if I just keep focus on Him, if I block out all the craziness that's going around and if I keep my mind steadfast and if I keep my eyes on Him, and if I look to him for help, then yeah, he's always there. He's my keeper, you know, and he will preserve me from all evil. Um, the Lord will preserve you going out and you coming in, even from this day forth or forevermore. So, yeah, let that be a comfort to you. Um, let it keep you calm and let it keep you warm and protected and just in a positive mood because God is with you, okay? Alright, so my third um, scripture that helps me um, when things aren't going right, um, it's 2 Timothy 
1 verse 7 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 I'm just going to read this one because it's not a very long one it says for God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind I'll just read it one more time for God hath not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind fear is not going to help you know fear is not going to allow us to get through um, difficult times um, it doesn't really make sense to be afraid it doesn't make sense to because fear paralyzes you and it, it makes you lose hope and it um, it just makes the situation far more difficult than it needs to be at this time I want to encourage us all to not be fearful because God did not give us a spirit of fear you know fear is not from God but let us be mindful of the power that God has given us the power of loving each other of taking care of each other looking out for your neighbor now is the time to come together to love your neighbor as yourself I know we have to be observing social distancing and all of that but even while you observe the guidelines to keep safe there is no reason why you can't reach out to somebody make sure they're okay give them a call um help somebody who might not have the resources to prepare um do whatever you can to spread love and positivity and just to spread you know the power of God and the power of his love for all of us so yeah this is a great scripture to keep in mind as we go through this difficult time all right so my fourth and final scripture that I want to share with you today is actually Joshua 1 and verse 9 and I'm going to read it for you quickly it says have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. And this scripture is um, so dear to my heart because God was so adamant to Joshua about being brave and about being strong and not to be afraid, not to be dismayed, but to have confidence in the fact that God was with him wherever he goes and regardless of the situation that he would come across. And that is what I want to reassure you guys about that. Regardless of the challenges that we're facing in the world today, God is always with us and because he is we can have confidence and we can feel safe and we can you know have courage to not be afraid because we know that God is able to do all things so as you try to follow the rules as you try to keep your family safe just also have the confidence that God is with you at this time and he will see you through I want to wish you guys all the best and thanks for watching and just don't forget to check out part two of this video okay bye